What's going on, YouTube? <clears throat> Excuse me. This is I talk Fortnite here. Haha, <laughs> I thought you I thought you were gonna guess I was gonna say something completely different. I did not. So welcome everyone to the ninth episode of Investigating Fortnite Clickbait. Now there is some changes once again. Now, by the way, I still don't have face cam. My mom is using it for work, so I'm not going to just take it away from her when she really needs it. She needs it more than I do. And uh, yeah, so there's a few things that you may notice. So the first thing is that our desperate counter has been updated. So it now says desperate counter giveaway, like, comment, subscribe, lies. So now if every time they say a blatant lie, that counts towards the counter. <clears throat> that includes fake giveaways too. So if they say like, oh yeah, I'm giving away all my skins. Yeah, that, that counts as a lie. Also, you may notice this little guy right here. This is a uh, computer program called Epic Pen. Basically, what it allows you to do is it allows you to draw whatever you want, and you can pick whatever color you want. And we're gonna make it. We're gonna make it red. Let's make it red. Let's make it like this thick, and uh, you know, draw a little happy face. See how cute that is. Here, let me let me make it. Let me do a cute one. Look at that. How cute is that, right? So now I'll be able to like circle like, oh, see this right here? Yeah, you shouldn't you shouldn't do that. You you shouldn't do that. This right here? Yeah, get rid of this. This this the little thumbs up thing, get rid of it. Yeah, that, that now I can do that now, which is pretty cool. So let's get right into it. So what I'm gonna do is I'm actually gonna go to Best Trends. Best trends. Best trends. I guess we're gonna do best trends. Oh boy. Let's see what they are. Hopefully the oh boy. Okay. Okay. I also have this. It's called TubeBuddy. This will allow me to see what their tags are. So if they spam the tags, that's bullshit as well. So, yeah. Seven new Fortnite locations coming in season 6. Hmm. Eight hidden Fortnite. All right, we're definitely watching two videos of this. <clears throat> Let's do seven new Fortnite locations in season six. I'm so excited for this. 1K dislikes. Let's see what his tags are. Uh, show the tags. T few laser beam, Lackland, PG, family friendly, no swearing, Fortnite, Fortnite Battle Royale, Ninja, Twitch, Fortnite FPS, Montage, funny mom funny moments. Nick A. Th oh my God! Look at all the names he put in here. Doctor Lupo, Ninja Fortnite. Wow. Nine times pros trolled noobs in Fortnite. That's not even the video. That's not even the video. I stealth ex exility. Why would you put exility in here? He's a clickbaiter too. Okay. And his description doesn't seem too bad. Except he put Ninja's name in here as well. And myth. And LA And like. Oh my god. Dude. <sighs> This is all just to get more in the search results. That's sick in the head. That is actually sick in the head. But uh, enough dozying around. Let's get right into it. Hey, what's up, guys? Ooh. And welcome back to Best Trends. Now, in today's video, we're going to be taking a look at seven new Fortnite locations coming in Season 6. Before we get into the video... Oh, giveaway. Even... Giveaway. Oh, my God. That was loud, too. Jesus Christ, dude. Giveaway. Loads of gift cards that you can use to buy V-Bucks. To everyone who leaves a like on the video like. and turns my notifications on, be sure to comment down comment. below that you've completed the steps. New winners will be included at the end of every video, so make sure to get entered Bullshit. on new videos early for the best chance to win. In That's probably video, a lie as well. We're going to be going and seeing many new locations that are most likely going to be coming into Season 6. Most no likely? Wait. Most likely coming, but it says seven new Fortnite locations coming in Season 6, but he says these are most likely? In this video, you're going to be going and seeing many new locations that are most likely going to be coming into season Most six. likely, so it's not confirmed. So this is, that's, so he said, I'm going to put a lie. He, 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 the title's a lie. I'm putting that as a lie. Not all of these are 100% going to be coming to season six, but I do know for a fact that at least one or two of these are going to be coming in season six. Wow, but yet you put, se oh my God, you're such a loser. There are some leaked info that adds up to a few of these locations actually being added. And honestly, you guys, I'd highly recommend that you stick around to the end of the video. Oh, because you want you want to get more watch time so you get more money. And uh, I will say one good thing about this guy, though, is that he at least he puts the name of the person's gameplay in the bottom. I know Chaos didn't do that, so that, that this is already a little bit better than Chaos, but 
This is already going to be more annoying, I can already tell. Because there's actually a trailer for season six that I got my hands on that was leaked. Bullshit. But you guys, it is lie. Lie. That's a lie. Oh my god, this lie counter is going to blow up, I can already tell. I'm going to call it lie, not lies. Jesus. Secret. Not that many people know about it, so I highly recommend you stick around to the end of the video to actually go and watch that. It's pretty insane as well. And it gives away what the theme of season six is, so uh, stay tuned for that, you guys. But right before I jump into the video, all of these concepts were created by Sardar, so shout out to him. But anyways, you guys, let's go and jump right on into oh the video. Oh my god, who is this? Why are they... Sh this is PG! Okay. Number seven, the volcano. So you guys... <laughs> Number seven, the volcano. <laughs> you said it so slow. Two variations that are revolving around the volcano. So surely at least one of these will be coming into season six. So since we do have two variations, I'm going to be starting out with one that's more than likely to come into Fortnite. Well, actually, you guys, they actually both have the same chance. Maybe I honestly have no what idea. What are you on about? He's like, oh, the one has a better chance than this one. Actually, no, they both have a good chance. I don't know. I don't know what the hell I'm even talking about anymore. But all I know is that they're both pretty cool concepts. So here is the first concept. This here on the screen is the first volcano. And well, you guys, it looks pretty crazy. And this looks like it could be 100% real. Lie. Lie, lie, lie. Come on. Don't kid yourself, homie. So you're probably wondering, where would the volcano even be? Well, let me go and show you. So as you can see on the screen right now, the volcano would fit perfectly at Loot Lake. Did Sardar allow you to do this, by the way? Or did you just steal these from him? Subscribe to Star Sardar now or else. Wow, he's making threats now. Wait, what was that? Whoa, 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 what was that? I'll give you $1,000 if you guess the emote Fortnite. Oh, my God. Wait, that's Landon's video? Or no, Lachlan's video? Hold on. Say we put $1,000. He literally put in two different YouTubers' videos in the description. Just so. Three. Three different videos. Four. He put in four different titles just so they would show up in his video. This is, this is spam. Th th this channel should already be deleted, honestly, in my opinion. This is disgusting. Like, tell me that doesn't look like it would end up fitting there just absolutely perfectly. So now let's go into the other volcano concept. So as you can see, this is more of a chill concept, waterfalls, as well as this being a Ragnarok skull on the volcano with the lava in the top rather than pouring out everywhere. And so we're keeping Loot Lake concept there, but we're just adding this big figure in the middle of it rather than that big old house. So this here could actually maybe be even more of like a, a realistic concept that's coming into season a six. A realistic but concept. But you guys both are definitely very cool concepts, and I guess we'll just have to wait and see. Number six, the crazy cat. Also, this is kind of dumb because he's using like pro gameplay footage just so he could put their names in the description and in the tags. So there's no, like, there's no way he got, he was allowed to use this footage. So this one here is pretty gnarly. And well, if this concept comes in a Fortnite, then I'm going to be pretty happy because this idea looks just all around absolutely flipping amazing. I'm not quite sure where this exact location will be on the map, but it could replace somewhere like either the villain's lair or even go to the superhero's base and take over that. Considering where it looks the same size and the spot for the superhero house will be just absolutely perfect for it. Make sure you guys stick around to layer the video. No. Nope. All right. I'm going to say I'm going to make a new one up on the spot. That's another one. Stay till the end. You. That's the second time you said that. Stop being so desperate. Because I'm going to be showing one of the coolest of them all. The season six trailer. I can't. Oh, he's going to always. Hands on this leaked footage. You nope. Guys. Lie. But let's go and jump into number lie. five. The amusement. Park. Why are you so slow? Number five. The amusement park. Here we go. We got a very good one for you guys here. This here is just a really big... Is this like Shuffle Gamer? I feel like this is like Shuffle Gamer's little brother or something. And to tell you the truth, it looks pretty insane. And I don't know if this will fit very well into Fortnite if I get my real opinion. It's just outside. Well, actually, it's partly inside and outside of Wailing Woods. As you can see, that looks pretty... He's like... <sighs> he, he's clearly reading from a script. There's nothing wrong with that. But he's put in... I feel like he put in the actually and maybe and my opinion part in the script because it sounds way too like listen to this again and tell me this does not sound like realistic 
And I don't know if this will fit very well into Fortnite if I give my real opinion. It's just outside. Well, actually, it's partly inside and outside of Wailing Woods. What is that? That sounds like a robot talking. <laughs> he's reading. He's reading. Oh, maybe. Well, what if? And oh, my opinion. Like, that's all in his script, apparently. That's stupid. As you can see, that looks pretty crazy and sweet at the exact same time. But it doesn't stop there, you guys. Before I go and show further screenshots, I want you guys to know if you like roller coasters. Go down below in the comment section and let me know if you guys like going on roller coasters. Comment. Suck my, mm, I hate you so much. I already hate this guy. Or if you're afraid of them. It's honestly like one or the other. Some people just absolutely love them, and then the others who just absolutely hate them. Let me know which person you are down below in the comment section. But now let's go and move into the next screenshot that I have. So as you guys can see, it looks like you'll even be able to get into a little cart and go for a ride. This image you see now honestly reminds me of Minecraft. But this would be so much fun. Imagine the crazy shots you could go for with this. Just, this would be absolutely insane. Number four, snowy slopes. For all the <laughs> Number four, snowy slopes. Get over yourself, bro. You barely made the video over 10 minutes long. You are so lucky you stalled it out with your very slow talking like this. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Those people Burger King foot lettuce. The last thing you'd want in your Burger King burger is someone's foot fungus, but as it turns out, that might be what you get. Out there who just loves snow. Well, this year's gonna be the exact concept you want to be coming into Fortnite. And well, let's be honest, even if you don't particularly like snow, snow looks great no matter what. It's just bright and jolly. It gets you in that holiday spirit. So this concept is what? snow slopes. And while what? <laughs> what is he talking about? Exactly that. There's a screenshot of the concept. It has all the runs or slopes, along with the chairlifts for the snowboarders slash skiers. Like, there's a ton of effort going into this, and I really hope they do end up putting Did he seriously make all this, or did he just steal it from Reddit and then put his watermark all over it? I'm only asking because these seem like different art styles that he's doing here, so I, I don't know. Season 6. And then there is a resort down below at the bottom of the runs or the slopes. And while this is a very well-made concept, I do have another screenshot where the medieval slash buccaneer boat place is. For some reason, I don't even know what to call this place. But this place is going to be all covered in snow as well. It just looks amazing if you ask me. I know some of you guys actually may have never even seen snow before in real life. What? So I want you guys to let me know down below if you nope, have... Nope, comment again. Jesus Christ, dude. Haven't seen snow before. Number three. Pirate's Paradise. Number three. Pirates p p Paradise. <laughs> so right outside of Greasy Grove, Tilted Towers, well, pretty much where Shifty Shafts used well, to well, be. Well, pretty much where your Shifty Shafts... Where we're pretty... Uh, I, I can't. I, I can't deal with this. This is already really bad. His title's a lie. His thumbnail's bullshit. I don't know. Clickbait as hell. And right outside of Fatal Fields as well. We want to add in Pirates Paradise. This here may seem like a weird spot to put some boats because... Well, how did they get there and how do they get out? But if Loot Lake is going to be gone with the volcano, we need something to go and replace it because it would just be weird without having a water place in the map. So that will be the Pirate's Paradise. There will be ships, treasures, crates, palm trees, huts, and many, many more things. This sounds like a sweet location. And if this concept comes into reality in Season 6, we will definitely be missing our good old friend Shifty Shafts. Even though I personally never land there, but some people land there every game. And I guess really? Some be people land there every game? That sounds not likely at all. Go and find a new place. Maybe that new place could be Pirate's Paradise. <laughs> Number two, the cracked world. Oh my god, stop talking like that. Number two, the cracked world. He sounds like top 15. He sounds like the, the top 15 guy, Chills. He sounds like him. I love Chills. Chills is a cool dude in my opinion, but like, this guy's trying to be like a clone of this dude. Burger King foot lettuce. Just one more, you guys, and we'll be going and actually... Oh, and Dr. Is... Disrespect. Where's Ninja? I'm expecting a clip from Ninja in this. I guarantee you Ninja's in this. I, I like, bet money on it. Season 6 trailer that got leaked. So here we go, you guys. We got a pretty big stretch. But this could still be a possibility. This concept, just to be honest, looks really cool, so I just had to put it in the video. But this here... But this is still a possibility of coming in a Fortnite Season 6. So as you can see there on the map, the map is all cracked up and opened. So this would be the cracked world. This would now be replacing what we know as Dusty Divot, and it would just be a This is great Fortnite gameplay I'm looking at, by the way. 
type idea with cracks all over like a big earthquake hit and it just it just destroyed everything and let's be honest the map has already been with a massive crater in dusty divot so we'll just have to wait and see but i got a pretty cool image of where our user is actually flying into the biggest crack <laughs> definitely looks like it could be a part of the game and looks very well if you ask me but that's just my personal opinion I don't believe this will be coming to season six, but there still is a possibility. Number one, the season six trailer, Alien. Oh my, dude, he seriously talks so slow. This is painful. I can't deal with this. This is just TV mad, you guys. again, Jesus. I talked about this at the beginning of the video, telling you to stay tuned for this. And well, if you're still here, then you made the right decision. I was getting so excited throughout the entire video, waiting. Yeah, for you were really getting excited, bro. You are really getting excited. ...to see this exact moment. To share with you a fan-made Season 6 trailer about aliens. This concept was made by Sardar... Oh, it's a concept. I thought it was the real thing. Well, you lied, so... That counts as a lie. You said it was real, not a concept. ...in the beginning of the video. And, well, shout out to him for this, you guys. The trailer is shown in the video I'm going to be playing for you guys. And, well, Sardar goes on to talk over it and explain what his thought process was behind all of this... And it just shows the trailer video in the background while he speaks. This is super cool, you guys. He's such a young, big individual talent for doing something like this. And well, you guys, the season six trailer, I feel like I made you guys sit around and wait long enough. But you guys, before we do do it, let me know. What do you Comment. guys think? Is Aliens going to be the oh next theme God. of season six? They have teased it in the past. And we even have a trailer right here in front of us. It's a concept. Showing what this it's a concept. It's not the real thing. You're a liar. What it could be. Let me know down below in the comments. Oh, section. courage. I love courage. I don't think he'd appreciate you using his gameplay, though, for your shitty video. I think the season six trailer is going to be, and if you guys do think it will be aliens. But let's go and watch the season six alien trailer. Oh, my God. Check it out. So, yeah, um, so this is created by me and Bob. And it starts off with the <laughs> establishing shots. What? Of the <laughs> what is this? No. You can't be serious with this. Come on. Boss and stuff like that. Oh, the boss and the like the map before the alien abduction comes in. <laughs> and afterwards, here comes the uh, alien first alien. Oh, abduction. I I can't. I can't deal with this. Is this actually serious? Are we are we getting into like? This is serious. Th is this serious? Because I think this isn't serious. Hint, I guess. Uh, music. Kind of climaxes, you guys can see climaxic the, you know, a new ship, I guess you could say. A new alien ship. Oh my god. Um, comes down once again. Um, that will be more important later on, as you guys can see. Um, a guy skydiving. Is... Skydiving, something happens. You can see the drift skin running away from the alien. Oh my Other god, what is day, this? And uh, goes into <laughs> the ship. <laughs> abducted and taken to the alien planet, which is the idea of this trailer, which I will explain to you guys later on. In like a different video. Oh my um, god. Yeah, so you guys can see a new location. This um, is so stupid. It would be like a magnetic mountain or something like that. Wow, that's I dusty. Magnetized towards it. As you guys can see, here's the human base. That's the human so, base. I'll talk to you guys about the storyline later on this video, so, or later on the next video. Did he like legit steal this video? Like, what are you looking at? You're looking down there? I'm just testing out the, the, the pen. It, it's dope. But, uh, yeah, I don't know, man. This doesn't, uh,. This is kind of bizarre. Um, so you guys see the mountain again, the drift skin comes in, you can see it. And also a new alien, you guys That's see not it. an alien. This right here, that's called a husk from, uh, Save the World. That is actually not an alien. You, okay. This, this, this would be a new alien kind of skin. Uh, it would be for the season 6 update, I guess you could say, and yeah. And here's the final scene, the alien ship. This is the stupidest thing I've ever seen in my life, I'm just saying. Now with the, huh. and yeah, guys, that is the trailer. I hope you guys are going to enjoy that. Yeah. Um, what was that music? That music was disgusting. That was seven new Fortnite locations in season six. That aren't confirmed, and you're saying that they are confirmed. Like that's the title and thumbnail are misleading. That that's a lie and it's bullshit. Did happen to enjoy this video? Be sure to slap a big old thumbs nope. up on it. But not just that, the giveaway winner oh, giveaway. giveaway will be in the pinned comment of this video. As well, you guys. Oh, wait. Is there a pinned comment of the winner? Nope. Oh, Boom Gaming, Kyler Street, congrats. I wonder if he actually... wonder if he actually gave them away. Boom Gaming, Kayla. Here, ready? Ready for this? I'm just going to watch. Huh? Boom 
game. Yeah, he, he didn't leave a comment, so I don't... All right. I don't know if I can believe that at all. Just saying. Don't know if I can believe it. Make sure to follow me on Instagram at... <laughs> I'd, I'd rather die than follow you on Instagram, homie. T is on the screen right now. Follow me because every single person that wins the giveaway will need to be contacting me on there due to YouTube removing their YouTube messaging system. So if you want to be contacted as a winner, make sure you go and DM me on there if you are a winner of the giveaway. Anyways, though, you guys, I'll catch you in the next video. Peace out. This was one of the worst videos I think I've ever seen. He actually didn't use any game, any gameplay from Ninja. I guess I owe you guys money. I guess I'm, I'll give it to my brother, and I guess that will count. Uh, that was awful. Uh, can I see what that thumbnail was again, by the way? Uh, yeah, no, this is bullshit. That is spam. I'm not going to report it here, obviously. Uh, it's, it's spam. Complete spam. This is legit. An awful channel. Ninja reveals his fifteen million dollar mansion. Insane. <sighs> ninja, ninja, ninja. Wow, ninja. I put ninja in the title. Holy crap, that's so cool. Six YouTubers who have killed ninja in four. Oh my god. Five top five accidents caught in YouTube videos. Top five scariest moments in YouTube videos. Jake Paul, Team 10. Wow, you put it in popular names in the title. Kid breaks his controller after this happens. Before. I'm so... I, I already... This is so bad. This was in, like, my recommended for so long. Guy stream snipes ninja eight times, then this happens, Fortnite. So shit. Wow, that's stupid, too. So much ninja. So much ninja shit. 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 10 minutes, 13 minutes, 10 minutes, 11 minutes, 10 minutes, 6, 7 minutes. Whoa, these two aren't. Well, then again, this was before 10 minutes actually gave you more ads, I'm pretty sure. So let's take a look at his videos here. Okay. So let's see. Let's scroll. All right, there we go. That's, that's good. That's good. Okay. So let's see. Uh, ninja, Ninja, Ninja. Uh, mm, all right, Ninja, Ninja, Ninja. Uh, ninja, shut up, kid. Ninja, ninja, ninja. Tfue, that eh, ninja. Like, come on, man. Ninja again. Like, he's got too much, man. This is so dumb. You're literally using ninja for views and money. It's really sad. I'm going to only watch one more video because I can't take this anymore. We'll do eight hidden Easter eggs you haven't seen. Hey, what's up, guys, and welcome back to Best Trade. <laughs> oh, I should I should also just mention, uh, in that last video, he had, he mentioned the giveaway twice, asked for a like twice, comment four times, subscribe, none, actually. I don't think he ever mentioned the subscribe. He said the notification bell, but not the subscribe, I don't think. And he lied seven times, and he asked you to stay till the end twice. So, not as bad as I thought, but it's still pretty bad. All right, let's go. Today's video, we're going to be taking a look at Seven hidden Fortnite Easter eggs you haven't seen. Before we get into the Give video, away. I'm going to be giving away loads of gift cards that you can use to buy. Fortnite. I don't care. So on the video and turns my like. On. Be sure to comment down below that you've completed the steps. New winners will be included at the end of every video. So you know what? He said turn on notifications. I'm going to count that as a subscribe because that's technically what that is. On new videos early for the best chance to win. There are many Easter eggs in Fortnite that nobody really comes to find. But I have set, but I end up finding seven. For can we hear that again, please? really comes to find but i have set but i end up finding seven four he he didn't cut that out he didn't edit his own audio that's that's really professional dude good job Fortnite easter eggs that, but i end up finding seven what is he doing does is he having a stroke he's in fortnite that nobody really comes to find but i have set but i end up finding seven fortnite easter eggs that but I end up finding seven pretty good Easter eggs. I can almost guarantee you have it. What seen. the hell? The further the video goes on, the more rare the Easter eggs. What? Get. So if you want to find out what the rarest Easter egg in Fortnite wait, is, wait, wait till the end of the video, right? They recommend you stick around till the end nope. of the video because it's pretty crazy to tell you the truth. You may have seen some in the beginning, but but it the says eight hidden Fortnite Easter eggs you haven't seen, so clearly that's a lie. Let's slowly work our way up until number one, and that will be the rarest. Just like a normal top listening video will go, you guys. But anyways, let's go and jump right on into the video. Number seven, the Muzelk Rescue Mission Tribute. This year is very oh cool God. that they added this Easter egg. Hey! Hey, who is that good looking guy right there? Oh, what is that? Is that Ninja? Oh my God, it's Ninja, guys. It's Ninja. 
Holy shit, you stole Ninja's gameplay. You know what? Alright. There was a time where Muzelk went out to a rescue mission, and well, it didn't end up going to plan, and it's honestly a very sad moment. I have to it say, isn't... he did so much work to try to get this user out, who just wasn't going to make it out of the scenario, and well, I'll just go and play the clip, and then go and show you the Easter egg afterwards. Here's Muzelk. Does this kid even play the game? Because he, he only uses streamer gameplay. Like, come on, man. Rescue mission. Enemy spotted. Yeah, he was like driving his golf cart over the edge. All right, I, I've already seen this. It's pretty funny, I won't lie, but like, I don't know. I've already seen it. I don't really want to see it again. It has ever happened to me in this. So now you realize how sad this is and what exactly happened. Now down below there where that user ended up getting pushed off, well, now there's a gravestone there in honor of him. And I find this just really cool for Epic Games to do something like this. Oh my god, it's him. It's actual gameplay footage of him. Holy shit. There's his name. This is his character. He's actually using gameplay of his. That is actually kind of insane. I didn't think I didn't think he actually had an account. I'm pretty surprised. I can't believe you named yourself best friends on Fortnite. But then again, I guess I can say the same thing about mine. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> Number six, the dinosaur footprint. Number 15, Burger King foot lettuce. Stop talking so slow. Burger King foot lettuce. So there is a massive footprint in the ground. And <laughs> <laughs> this right here, right? This right here. That is how I feel watching this dude's videos. This summarizes how i feel completely that's how i feel whoops that that is that is exactly how i feel footprint in the ground and there actually used to be another footprint in the ground but it was in a different location but there is a dinosaur footprint that is in the ground right down below where the medieval slash viking location is it's a no-name place on the map and it's also west of greasy grove and there is the big footprint in the ground this may be something to do with the next season update or what is the entire plan behind this but you guys, later in the video, actually, I may be explaining- Hey! It's your boy! It's your boy Ninja again! Oh my god! Gotta get those views, man. Gotta get those views. Use Ninja's gameplay, bro. Why this dinosaur footprint is there, so make sure you stick around because there may be something leading up to this- Make sure you- Whoa, whoa, whoa. Here. I was taking a drink of my soda. You thought I wasn't gonna hear that. But guess what I fucking did. It's fucking- Oh yeah, I should add a lie because he said that we- you know, he said that uh, we didn't know about these Easter eggs, even though it says in the title you haven't seen them. But he's like, oh, yeah, you've probably seen a few of these. But you guys got to stick around to find out why. I'm going to now be going and show you guys exactly where the footprint is and what it looks like. Check it out. More gameplay. This is insane. This is probably the most he's ever played in his own his whole life. Like. You're going to go right here. There you go. Good job, buddy. Come on. Fall down faster. Fall down faster. You're stalling for video time. Just just go down. Just go down. Go down. Go down. You got to make sure you hit the 10 minute mark. Wait, what? Where was it? Where was it? Oh, that right there? Are you kidding me? Wow. Lame. Number five. The double tiki plus the chair. <laughs> So ah, it's ninja again. Actually, wait, I think, wait, was that what he left off when he went to this? Uh, yeah, it was, never mind. Only tiki in the entire map that has two layers to it. And you can get quite a bit of brick from this tiki. And not just that, but there's also a chair on top of it. And well, I guess you could maybe take a seat up there and maybe have a pretty good view. But this tiki is located right next to Greasy Grove. So this is the tiki outside of Greasy Grove that has the rifts on it and all the chests. And you can get like... A couple hundred, uh, I don't know about a couple hundred, but probably 150 brick from this, which is honestly pretty good because brick is pretty hard to come around these days. And this is the only tiki that is double stacked 
And, well, that's kind of crazy to tell the truth that you can get double the brick on this one, even hit the rifts, and all three chests are still there. So this is like How's that an Easter egg? Whammy. You drop greasy, you come out, you lose How is that an Easter egg? Peaky, you get tons of brick, you get the chest, hopefully you get some banger items, then you take a rift and push tilt it and end up setting yourself up the entire game. Sounds like a pretty sweet deal to me. So let me go and show you guys the tiki and where the seed is. Check this out. How is that an Easter egg? How is that in any way an Easter egg? Oh my god, this is a complete lie. This is not an Easter egg whatsoever. This dude's such a... He's such a shitter. Oh my god, come on! Alright, alright, I get it, I get it, just move on. Number four, posters of previous games. So to me, this is kind of crazy, and I never really ended up knowing this. There are posters of previous Ew, games. Ew, stretch that gameplay. It's gross. Games have created, and well, there is a specific one that I show in Tilted Towers. This one I show you here is called Jazz Jack Rabbit, <laughs> and well, pretty cool. That <laughs> actually the way he said rabbit was one Jazz Jack Rabbit. Show in Tilted Towers. This one I show you here is called Jazz Jack Rabbit. <laughs> and well, it's pretty cool that they're actually incorporating their old games into their new ones as Easter eggs. Because the normal person that comes across these posters are not going to be like, Oh, you guys, that's Epic Games' old video game or whatever. Like, nobody knows about Jazz Jack Rabbit. Or, well, if you do, then I don't know. But I, 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 I don't know. If you know about Epic's other games, I don't know what to tell you, bud. Friends have ever heard of Jazz Jack Rabbit? Oh my God! Stop That's using stretch gameplay. It looks gross. It's a very popular game, but this is an older game that Fortnite or not Fortnite, but Epic Games actually released in the past. And well, there is actually another place here, not just in Tilted Towers, that has this exact same poster, and that is in Loot Lake. But I'll leave that one for you guys to go find. I'm gonna be going showing you the one where it is at, at Tilted Towers. So let me go and show yeah, you I can't show the one in Loot Lake because he's too lazy for that shit. Where the poster is in Tilted Towers. Just Let's go and roll that clip. Just show right it. Just, just go to it. Just go to it. Oh, there it is. Look at that. I totally have never seen that before. Camel sipping a what is? How is that an Easter egg? This year may be a more common one, but this is super cool. And well, I don't know if it's cool, but it's just kind of weird that there's a camel randomly. But then again, it is the desert. And well, camels are usually in the desert, I think, or... At least all the videos you see, camels are in the I, I, I have no words for this man. And well, you guys, there's a camel that is next to the gas station that's in the desert area right outside of Paradise Ponds. It's actually quite a ways away from Paradise, but the thing is, you could end up getting there, and it's in that same little desert area What I'm talking You guys know what I'm talking about. Stop using stretch gameplay, please. Just that, you guys, but if you actually go and break that camel, there's a little chest inside, and I think sometimes it drops some pretty good stuff. I'm pretty sure when I went no. there. I'm going to make that four because he said that the one was an Easter egg, which it isn't. This is also not an Easter egg as well. I broke it this time in this game. I ended up getting like a gold scar or something like that. Oh, so, so that, that means there's always gold scars in there. Yeah, you're full of shit. It's up working out pretty good for me. Let's just go and check out the camel. Come on. Just get on with it. Number two, Jurassic Park. Here you go, guys. We got a Jurassic Park little museum here near Paradise Palms as well. This place isn't actually called Jurassic Park, but I don't really know what to call it, like besides Dinosaur Museum, but that doesn't sound very cool. But you guys, this here is what I was talking about with that footprint earlier in the video. Who knows? Is this where our good old friend, the dinosaur footprint, came from? One of the Do you know if this is where our good friend, the dinosaur footprint, came from? What? Dinosaurs. Anyways, guys, let's go and check out the clip of these dinosaurs and their museum. And I end up doing something kind of special in this clip as well. So let me go and play that for you guys right now. I'm so confused. What are we supposed to see? Can you... What did that? What did that have to do with the footprint? Whoops. What did that have to do with the footprint, homie? Come on. Dallas mask. 
Dallas that mask. Actually, no longer in the game. Well, at least when I tried it, it didn't work. But I actually have a clip of someone who goes and does it. Their link will be down below the description for this. What about and these guys? What about these guys? Allie video. Lackland video. Ninja TFU laser beam Lackland. Is this considered cheat? This is spam and misleading. This channel should be deleted, honestly, in my opinion. And, and the villain's base. And then the Dallas mask ends up showing up. I'm not sure if this is actually fake or if the person edited it in or what the entire scenario here is. But I'm going to say it's an Easter egg. Even though I don't know if it's legit or not. That's a lie, bro. I didn't do too much research. I'm not going to lie. Of course you didn't. Of course you Of course you didn't. A, po a, a dude with 2.1 million subscribers can't, can't do research. Can't do research for a video. But yet I could do research for my videos. Okay, that makes sense. And I have a full-time job too, so okay. Game. Just depends if you do it right, I guess. But if you want to go and give it a chance for yourself, whether or not this mask is up still showing up, but let's go play this clip of this person shooting the curtain in the Dallas mask popping up. Bullshit. Are you serious? Well, there you have Are it. you kidding me? Said... Do that again. Are, are you actually kidding yeah. me? You're f <laughs> Yeah, that's totally legit. You're an idiot. Oh, it's in the computer screen too, right? Oh my god. Well, there you have it. Oh guys. my that god. Was seven hidden Fortnite Easter eggs you haven't seen. That was The title says 8, you said 7. And I I've seen those and they're not even they're <laughs> Okay, uh, you lied. You said that wasn't your title. That's probably just an honest mistake, whatever. But I'm still going to put in a lie because you said we haven't seen him before, which is completely bullshit. You can't just say that. If you guys did enjoy this video, be sure to slap a big nope. old thumbs up on it. Mm -mm. But not just that. The giveaway winners from the last video's giveaway will be down below in the comment section. As well, you guys, make sure to follow me on Instagram. And you kept it just going, man. Come on. Well, I'm done here. Uh, yeah, best trends. Your channel should be deleted. You use... Spam, you, okay, so your titles are misleading, your thumbnails are misleading, you put in other people's YouTube videos in your description just so you get higher in the search algorithm, you're not doing it to promote them, you're doing it to promote yourself, and my little tube buddy thing shows me that you just spam Ninja and Musilic and Lachlan and Best Trends and Myth and Nick A30, even though Nick A30 was never mentioned in the video, he wasn't even shown in the video, top 10 most expensive Fortnite YouTuber houses. Ninja, Tfue, Laser Beak. Like, this is absolutely bullshit. This channel should be deleted. Honestly. Get out of here. <laughs> well, I hope you enjoyed this. I, I didn't. This was just sad. This, this to me... This to me is a kid who is trying so hard to, to fit in with, like, the, the other popular clickbaiters by stealing people's Twitch live streams and just putting them in the in the description and the tags just so he gets higher up in the search results. It's really disgusting actually and he's really money hungry. So and he gets them all the way over to 10 minutes. Which by the way, I'm also going to bet hey, yeah, shut up. I'm also going to bet a lot of these videos are 10 minutes long. 10, 12, 17, 14, 10, 12, 13, 11, 13, 13, 10, 10, 12, 12, 13, 15, 10, 10, 11, 11, 10, 11, 10, 13. 13, 10, 13, 12, 11. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that, Juicy. Uh, look at that too. 11, 12, 11, 10, 10, 13, 10. 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 13, 12, 10. What the hell is this? 10, 10, 10, 10, 19. Jesus. 10, 10, 10. 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10, 11, 10, 10, 10, 10, 10. Like, this is absolutely ridiculous. He purposely stretches out these videos just so he gets double the advertisements. I'm done. Don't watch Best Trends. His channel is garbage, in my opinion. If you enjoyed my suffering, leave me a like. I will not beg for it. Subscribe to the channel if you're new. Turn on the bell just so you get all my latest uploads. Comment down below more channels you want me to watch. Please don't recommend me anymore. I'm getting really tired of this. And uh, follow me on Twitter at TalkFortnite. Join the Discord. I also made a Twitch, which will also be in the description. And I also made an Instagram. So you can follow me in the description there as well. If, if you want, I'm not going to beg you. But that'll do it for me. This has been iTalk. I hate my life.
I'll see you all later. See ya.